Hi viewers, my name is Clarice Ezeribe. Welcome to today's episode of 10 Minutes With You, a program where we talk about how your Christian life influences your daily activities. And with me today is an amazing guest, someone who is a gospel artist who has influenced his generation with his songs. We will get to meet him after this short break. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the show. This is still 10 minutes with you. And with me, we have Mr. Victor Songs. Yes. You're welcome, sir. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you for joining us in the show. You're welcome. Thank you. We have a few questions for you today. First of all, I want you to tell us how the name Victor Songs came up. What's the inspiration behind the name? Uh, okay. Uh, like you said, my name is Victor Songs. Yes. Uh, a music minister. Uh, called uh, to take the gospel of Jesus to the world through musical format. Wow. So my name is Victor, and uh, you know, the songs attached is just uh, adding the assignments. Okay. The gospel music. So Victor songs. songs. So uh, the songs is like okay, uh, adding the assignment to Victor songs. So uh, there is no Victor uh, without uh, the assignment of taking the gospel of Jesus to the world through musical format. So that's how the name came about. Thank okay. you. Okay. Wow. Victor songs is good. Okay. So, what kind of music do you do? Okay. Uh, like I've said, I do uh, gospel music. Uh, gospel. You know, I do worship. I do praise. Uh, okay. Yeah. I do uh, you know, uh, some kind of uh, Afro, uh, Afro gospel music. Okay. Yeah. You've released quite a number of songs, or is it just the EP or what? Uh, I released the single. Okay. In 2018, okay. August 4th, okay. uh, then I was in 200 level. So, because of the uh, the the hectic uh, nature of my course of study, okay. I did anatomy in school. Okay. So the whole uh, academic environment you know, yeah. was making the you know uh, recording you know, oh. to be very very tedious for me. So I had to pause. How know. do you get inspiration for these songs? Okay, uh, normally as a music minister, worship is not just what you do in church. Yes. You know, it's what you do in your closets, and, you know, yeah. anywhere you are, just music is who you are, and worship is, you know. Okay, are you into music full time, or is there something else you do? Uh, uh, for now, uh, I'm not into music full time. Okay. Um, I'm into business, I'm into music, so like I'm okay. doing the two. Wow, what kind of business? Yeah, uh, fabrics. I sell fabrics and I sell uh, all kinds of uh, tailoring materials. Oh. Yeah. Wow. What are the challenges of combining these two, music and business? Uh, I must tell you, uh, it, it's a good challenge. Okay. You know, because uh, you have to. Okay, should I say that I'm a full time music minister and a part time business? Anyone, uh, business, you know better. Uh, business <laughs> yeah, you know better. yeah, yeah, because, because uh, music is a calling. Okay. Uh, and uh, uh, business is. Um, is it's a choice. Yeah. It's, should I say it's a choice? Okay. But it's something that you're doing for the now. Okay. Okay. You said music is calling to you. Yeah. So why is it that some gospel artists, where you call them to perform, call them for a program to perform, and they charge, despite the fact that it's a calling? Why? Why is that? <laughs> uh, for me, for me personally, mm -hmm. you know, uh, life we live life uh, based on our convictions. Okay. okay? Uh, the one thing you know is that music is 
costly. For you to do okay. music excellently, it must cost you something. Okay. Now those uh, for a professional, you know, gospel music minister who has a band, who has you know a crew, a crew, yes. you pay them. You don't tell them God bless you. Wow. Okay. But if God has told you not to charge, then that means that God has a package for you. Okay. For me personally, I don't have any issue with anybody that charges. Okay. I don't have any issue because I understand what it means, what it means for you to produce one song. And really, where the work is, is not in production. So where is the work? The work is in promotion. They spend okay. millions for you to hear these songs. Wow. For you to see their song on Facebook, for you to see their song on YouTube, yes. in Apple Store, they, they spend money to promote songs. And then okay. they pay their, you know, their team, their crew. Yes. So I don't really have any issue with anybody who is charging. Okay. And, then, and then why... Why some of these uh, music ministers, why they charge is because when you've invested so much and then you come to a place, let's say that you, you know, you've invested so much and then you, you come to a place and you are not honored very well, you know, after settling your, your, your people that came with you, mm. you don't have anything. Okay, let me share a story. There was one particular program that I went to near Bonny State and we are lodged in a hotel. Mm. You know, some big artists they all came for the and I had to lock my my you know my office for a week. Wow. So I I yeah, I locked it, you know. One of the best things that can happen to a music minister is to be on the same stage with people that you look up to. So yes. I was so excited. Yes. And I loved the Shop, you know, we went there, we are lost me out there. You know, they took care of us very well in, in terms of feeding. And but then an accommodation, you know. The hospitality was you know was good. Yes. So after the program we okay, the person that invited us was like, Okay, uh we'll get back to you. Okay, all right, we'll get back to you. Just like that. And I left, you know, trust, okay, he'll yeah. get back to us and then there I was there before the before uh the main you know gospel artists that came yes. the, before they even embarked on the journey they were all paid. Wow. Serious, serious money. Okay, you get back to me. So I said, Okay, no problem. And we we left. And I tell you, the, the person has been getting back to me to today. Till today. Since last year, twenty twenty one. Are you serious? And and that really wanted to make me to you know to change my you know my ideology. Okay. I was like, you get, but yeah. then and I said secondly, so I, I now said, if if God is one that called me, yes. then, then that means that God has a package for me. Yes. And then really, music is not all about money. If God wants to bless me, I'm yes. doing business. God yes. should bless me. Bless you. you get so yes. that anything that is coming from our, yes. you know, from our side is just additional. Yes. So that really made me. I was like, ah, okay. So this is why people are even charging self. Yeah. You get so I, I don't have any issue with anybody that is charging. That is totally up to them. Mm. They know what they saw that, that made, made them, them to, to, you know, yes. to charge. But yes. for me, uh. I don't charge. I believe that if God wants to bless me, my mind is not dormant. You know, mm. my mind is open. God mm. can give me ideas, and I'm doing business. Yes. So, and God can actually pay you more than you know man can pay you. Yes. And then you might be saying, okay, uh, uh, they are calling me for this uh, meeting. Okay, let me charge two million. Let me charge three million. Mm. Whereas God has, you know, told them. To honor you with five million, ten million, or in oh, dollars. Yes. So there's no need for you to set limit for God. Yes, you get, yes. you get. So God knows how to set to people who are working yeah. for Him. So that's my conviction. Okay. Yeah, that's my conviction. I would have loved to ask you more. But time is against us. <laughs> yeah, so thank you. Thank, thank you. you for joining us on the program today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. It's been awesome. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Okay, viewers. This is where we we'll end it for today. See you next week, same channel. Please like and subscribe to our channel. See you next week.